Hello, I'm Yoko, and I'm back with an Animal Crossing video. If you missed the last one of these, which admittedly was a bit ago, I'm going through each species in Animal Crossing from my least favorite to my favorite, which I determined using a math system. <laughs> and I'm designing them as humans. I'm doing it this way so I can work up to my favorites and I don't lose motivation. I actually had to recalculate a lot of these because of the new villagers. With that said, my first video was hippos, and this next one is the... Oh boy, gorillas. Okay, let's get into that first drawing, and then I'll explain some stuff. <laughs> so, first up in my least favorite gorilla is Al. I gave him a score of 1 because he kind of creeps me out. I'll explain more about him in a bit, but I want to start with some disclaimers. Okay, so I think most of the gorillas make me uncomfortable, but some of them I actually do like. That being said, there's unfortunate connotations with gorillas and monkeys when you try to design them as humans, so I'm going to say right now all my designs are pretty pale-skinned. I'm all for diversity in my designs, but I'll save that for other villager species. <laughs> Not getting into that can of worms. Anyway, <laughs> now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's explain Al. So Al is a lazy guy whose picture quote is, Life is a buffet, always go back for seconds. His catchphrase is, ay, <laughs> ay, and his skill is jumping rope and his goal is to be a journalist. I always like to include those little flavor text stuff that is in, like, New Leaf, even though it's not really that important. I, I think it adds character. His house looks like a gym, and he's wearing, like, a track jacket, which I find kind of funny because he's lazy. <laughs> So I imagine he's like those people who make New Year's resolutions about getting in shape and exercising more, but never actually get around to it. But yeah, he's pretty self-explanatory. Oh yeah, I left one of his shoes untied. <laughs> Maybe he's too lazy to fix it, I don't know. Also, this reminds me of my boyfriend a bit. Just a bit. But yeah, here's Al. What do you guys think? We got like nine more to go through, so we're moving on. <laughs> so my second least favorite gorilla is Rocket, who I also gave a score of one. Rocket is a sisterly villager whose picture quote is, Art feeds the soul, so does pizza, which is relatable. <laughs> Her catchphrase is, vroom, which I think is kind of cute. Her skill is cramming for tests, and she wants to be a swimmer. Interesting. What's more interesting about Rocket is that she's part of a superhero squad of animals along with Agent S, Kid Cat, and Big Top. That being said, she is my least favorite of the four. There's just something about her that gives me the unhappy feelings. Maybe it's her eyes, her slightly different pink colored lips, or just her color palette in general, but either way, I don't really like her. What I like about her house, though, is that she has, like, the zap suit on display, presumably for when she dresses up for hero work, so I combined the outfit that she is wearing with the fours on it with the zap outfit to make some kind of combination of the two because I wanted to show off but she's a superhero. I also wanted to show off her abs a bit because buff woman, yes. So I kept her outfit kind of skin tied on her belly. Uh, not all the gorillas are going to be buff. Uh, most of them are, but not all of them. But even though... That's a very loud car. I don't know if you could hear that. Uh, but even though I'm bad at like showing height and drawings, just imagine they're all at least very tall people. <laughs> anyway, I don't have too much to say about her, so here's Rocket. Hope you like her design, but we are moving on. Next up is Violet, who is our last score of one. So after the gorillas go slightly up, like after this, just, just slightly. Uh, Violet is snooty, but she used to be peppy in old games. Her picture quote is, pearls are a pink gorilla's best friend. And I feel like I should know this since I am an artist, but I thought she was Violet, as the name suggests. But this says that she's pink? Is she considered pink? <laughs> anyway, uh, her catchphrase is sweetie, her skill is blowing bubbles, she wants to be a pharmacist, and with her funky flower house, I'm wondering what kind of pharmacist. Violet gives me kind of hippie vibes, which is pretty cute. The main reason I don't like Violet is that she lived in my New Leaf town and refused to leave, so I grew a big dislike for her. I will say I like her new outfit a lot better than her old green one. Another thing I don't really like was her bright red lips, though I'm just not a fan of most villagers that have very extreme makeup, um, specifically lips. I don't know, looks weird. 
Uh, as for her design, I kept her beads and shirt and added some purple leggings underneath. Now that I'm done with all of them, I think it would have been interesting if I made it some of those funky colored yoga pants. I also gave her some sandals and I made her hair a bob. I think I made her more concerned looking than snooty, but I think she turned out pretty cute. Also, I made her kind of thick, but that wasn't really on purpose. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, here's Violet. I hope you like her, because I think she turned out pretty cute. <laughs> Next up is Caesar, who I gave a score of 2. G going up very slightly. Caesar is cranky, and his picture quote is, As soon as you can grow a mustache, do it. And you know what, Caesar? I don't think I will. His catchphrase is Highness. He has a skill of vaulting and wants to be a basketball player. His house is also pretty swanky and looks kind of like a bar. I don't know. Maybe there's a better description. Never been to a bar. <laughs> anyway, with all this info, all I'm getting is, why is he cranky? Ignoring the New Leaf random goals for stuff, everything about him screams smug to me. Like, in a uncomfortable way. <laughs> I know his catchphrase, Highness, is a reference to Julius Caesar, but it gives me the same vibes of if he came over and just called me Milady. I, I don't like it. Also, I know some people like facial hair, facial hair on the villagers, but like like the lipstick, uh, nine times out of ten, just not for me. Um, I'm also not too big a fan of his bangs situation he has going on, as it sucked to draw. Also, his skin is just like super orange, so I tried to give him a normal looking skin tone, but ended up adjusting it very slightly to make it more orange. I don't know, maybe he has too much fake tanner. I also wasn't very inspired for his outfit. I'm just going to say right now that one thing I don't really like on most gorillas is that they straight up have, they have butts. Like, here, look, I'll put up some examples. It's weird and I don't like it, <laughs> but since I can't draw the behind view of him as well, <laughs> I mean, I could, but that would take even more time and I'm already behind. <laughs> uh, let's just imagine Caesar's pants have colored pockets on the back. Anyway, now that I made you uncomfortable or laugh, depending on who you are, because of the thought that gorillas have butts in the game, uh, here's Caesar. Hope you like him. I struggled. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, Boyd. I gave him a score of two as well. He's another cranky, cranky gorilla whose picture quote is, there's always time to take a second look, and has the catchphrase, uh-oh, because he realized no one cared about him being reintroduced into the series. Okay, that's a little mean. I'm sorry if I'm roasting your favorite villager. Uh, his skill is baton twirling, and he wants to be a pro wrestler. Now tell me how he apparently went from a house filled with art and stuff like that in his first appearance to living basically in a park with oil barrels of questionable dangerous material. Honestly, a lot of the New Horizons houses look kind of the same or boring. Eh. But some extra info says that he's a good guy to know while moving in, so I guess he's like some kind of cranky guy that would complain the whole time but would immediately help anyway because deep down he finds you a good friend. And you know, it's the kind of friend you need. Design-wise, there's not much to talk about. I kind of just went really simple with it. I need to get better at making my designs more visually interesting, I think, especially with the guys. Most of Boyd is a blur except for the amount of struggle I had trying to draw a pose for his arms. Uh, I did not want to draw hands that day, and I was trying to hide them in a more creative way than just putting them behind his back, but that wasn't working, so behind the back it is. <laughs> so yeah, not much to say about Boy, Boy, that Boy, the Boy, <laughs> Boyd, but here he is. Hope you like him, sorry if I made him a bit too boring, but with most of these gorillas, I didn't really have a lot of inspiration. Speaking of lack of creativity, here's Donkey Kong. Oops, actually, his name is Louie. If you think it's a coincidence that he looks like DK, just know that this is a Nintendo game and he used to wear the Mario shirt. Anyway, I gave him a score of free. He's a jock whose picture quote is, it's all about the muscle. Uh, his catchphrase is, hoo hoo ha. <laughs> That's so stupid to say out loud. <laughs> anyway, um, his skill is doing handstands and he wants to be a rugby player. His house is pretty much a standard gym, but what I found interesting was some extra flavor text that apparently the girls call him Louis Lamour, excuse my French, <laughs> and he apparently is a hunk and a ladies' man who asks girls to dance during KK's concerts, so you know, good for him. <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting girls, anyway. 
Um, I gave him shades to try to resemble the darker indentation where his eyes are, and I also gave him a wristband with DK on it. Honestly, the combination of him being a flirt and his kind of hair color and the glasses I gave him is kind of reminding me from Loki from Fairy Tale. Uh, oops. Anyway, so yeah, I colored his shoes also like DK because I wanted to reference that he's basically just Donkey Kong. He reminds me of those extra amiibo characters that cosplay or seem to just be existing characters. I didn't include most of them in this series because some of them are just straight up characters, like I said, like Wolf Link and Ganon. Um, I don't know, he gives me that vibe. I did include a certain set of extra characters, which you'll see very soon. But first, here's Louie. I hope you like the drawing. Next up is Rilla, who I gave a score free to. Uh, not, not free. I, I, I also gave a score of free. I'm, I'm very good at talking. <laughs> so, as mentioned five seconds ago, I added some special amiibo characters. I didn't originally include the Sanrio characters in my calculations, but while I was recalculating the new villagers into the math, I decided to add the Sanrio ones because since that first video, I actually got my hands on some of the bootlegs of their amiibos. And <laughs> with that said, Rilla is my least favorite of the batch. Um, I don't think she's, an, she's like a hideous gorilla. I think most of the reason people don't really like her is that most people don't like gorillas, and also they kind of wish the one representing Hello Kitty might have been something cuter. I don't know. Um, she's peppy, and her picture quote is, When there's a will, there's a way. And her catchphrase is hello. Uh, ver very cute. <laughs> her skill is baking, and her goal is kitty white. Which I looked up and I was like, oh, I guess it's like a sing- No, no, that's that's Hello Kitty's real name. <laughs> that's her full name, I guess. <laughs> also, this is my first character that overlaps with Ginger Ninja OWO. That's how you say it out loud, according to them. <laughs> anyway, uh, in their series. So I did my best not to subconsciously copy the design. And in the end, I think they do look different enough. I obviously gave Rilla her bow and something I noticed while researching was- Okay, so it says that the shirt that she's wearing, she's had since she was a little girl, and it says that you can tell. So I w thought it would be funny if I made it, like, super small. <laughs> uh, and I don't know, I gave her sleeves, but I didn't give her an undershirt because, you know, more girls have abs, yes. <laughs> I also thought her nostrils look kind of like hearts, so I gave her heart studs on her nose. Uh, just assume she has two. I only drew one side of her face. I kept most of her clothes blue because, like, when I was looking at the exclusive clothing you get while scanning her into the game, they're all pretty much blue. I also gave her the actual shoes you get while scanning her. Uh, to be more accurate, I probably should have made them red. There's an ice cream truck. I don't know if you can hear that. L lots of noises today. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, to be more accurate to her, I probably should have given her red shoes, but I thought the shoes in-game were really, really cute, so I just wanted to use those. Anyway, with that said, I really like how she turned out. I think she's really cute. <laughs> Here's Rilla. I hope you like her. Next up is Boone, who I gave a score of 4. I think it's really cool he's a baboon, and the uniqueness of that is what makes me like him, but I'm saying right now I struggled with him so much. He's a jock, and his picture quote is, Never settle for second best. And his catchphrase is, Baboon, which I love. I don't know if you could hear that right. I said baboon, like, with an M. It's hard, it's hard to hear if I'm actually saying that right. Anyway, uh, his skill is dancing, and he wants to be a rugby player. So, in the planning phase, I was struggling with his face in particular. I did end up making his facial markings into a makeup look. And who says you can't be a jock and also like makeup? Though, admittedly, the colors kind of just make me think of the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I thought his hair coloring resembled a mohawk, so I ran with it. What's funny is, I struggle with the face so much in planning, but it's my favorite part of the finished piece, and everything else kind of bugs me. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, oh well. Uh, honestly, I just like his... Ex eh. I like his old outfit that he had instead of, like, his New Leaf, uh, New Horizons outfit, I mean. Because I'm trying to base it on New, Hori New Horizons. I'm having a horrible time trying to talk. I'm trying to base the outfits on the New Horizons ones, but I think he looked better before. What I learned drawing most of these is that I need to practice muscles more, honestly. But with that said, here's Boone. I hope you like him. I think his makeup turned out fabulous. Next up is Pee Wee. I also gave him a score of four. He's cranky, and his picture quote is, look behind you. 
which honestly, kind of scary. His catchphrase is Lil Bitty Baby, but it used to be Lil Dude, which I liked a lot better, but maybe they got rid of it because of gendered language. I don't know. Kind of doubt that was the reason. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, well. I, I, I am a girl, and I, I would be okay with being called Lil Dude. <laughs> Anyway, his skill is karaoke, so someone go have him sing KK Metal, and his goal is to be a pro wrestler. So, I like Pee Wee because he's the only gorilla that actually looks like a real gorilla. <laughs> Gorillas are pretty gray, Nintendo. Please stop making most of them look like Donkey Kong. You could make them resemble other specific species like you did with Boon being a baboon. I think an orangutan would be pretty cute. <laughs> I know Animal Crossing doesn't have realistic animals, it's fantasy, and we have, like, blue horses, but the majority of these are the same thing over and over about too much creativity to the point where it bugs me. Okay, rant over. <laughs> Back to Pee Wee. So, it's hard to tell in this drawing because I need to work on proportions, and honestly, doing this series just makes me realize how much I need to, but I imagine him to be the biggest and bulkiest of the gorillas I drew. Like, if I put them in a lineup, I'd want him to be huge, since that's kind of the main joke of him being named Pee-wee. But that said, there's not too much to say. Yes, his speed paint will just be me ranting about gorilla designs in Animal Crossing. Anyway, here's Pee-wee. Hope you like him. I think he looks like a cranky friend. <laughs> now, last up in my favorite gorilla is Hans, who I gave a score of 5. So we still don't have a villager in this little series where I draw them, who has a perfect score of 6. But I love Hans. He was in my t New Leaf town, and he's a yeti. It's awesome. He's a smug villager, and the picture quote, One good turn, turn deserves another. And the catchphrase, groovy. <laughs> Which reminds me of Groovy Spoon, the frozen yogurt place. <laughs> anyway, his skill is spoon bending which is also related to Groovy Spoon, so now I'm just thinking of frozen yogurt, and he's a yeti. Uh, I, I'm putting this all together. It's a uh, conspiracy. He likes Groovy Spoon. Anyway... Editing Yoko, uh, it looks like Groovy Spoon got, like, out of business a long time ago. Um, now I'm sad. Anyway, <laughs> back to the video. He wants to be a painter, which makes my little artist brain happy. I will say designing him as a human takes a bit away from what I like about him. He has blue skin and lives in the snow. Now, humans don't have blue skin, and yetis are too humanoid for me to justify making him, like, a cryptid. Cryptid type character. I am good at talking. So he gets a normal skin tone and we have to settle for blue mittens and boots. I also gotta say New Horizons. Why is his default shirt his like this warm tones weird thing? I miss his blue argyle sweater thing. I know it's in his picture, but I miss. Anyway, <laughs> there's just a lot of factors that make Hans my favorite gorilla. I know some people really hate him, but he, he's, a, he's a cryptid, he's blue, and there's a personal connection from having him in a town. Editing Yoko here. I just realized uh, my Hans design is basically just a snowy version of my OC June. That looks less like a jerk. Uh, oops. <laughs> and with that said, here's Hans. I hope you like him. Overall, the gorilla's got a score of 2.6. And take the second spot in this series, meaning they're my, my second least favorite villager uh, species, I mean. My like of a few of these managed to get them above the hippos who I was mostly indifferent to. Also, this was ten villagers. Many future species have even more in their group, so I haven't decided if I should split certain species into parts. So, I, so it's not super long, or if I just should make a really long video when I get to things like, I don't know, the cats... Uh, let me know what you think, but that said, without giving it away, the next species doesn't have that many, and I'm excited to do it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and if you enjoy my art, I'd appreciate if you could hit the like button and subscribe. Recently, I've been getting a lot of subscribers, and it makes me super happy. Seriously, guys, I've grown, like, a third more, like, <laughs> it it's insane. I, I went from, like, less than 100 last month to, like, almost 150. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I really appreciate all of you, and I'll see you next week. Peace.